This didn't happen to me, but one story happened to my mom and one to my friend. My mom. My mom's father passed away when she was 15. My father therefore never met him, and he didn't even have that much of an idea of what he looked like aside from some grainy old photos. We used to live in a big somewhat old house when I was younger. All of us felt strange, bad vibes from this house, including my father who is a massive skeptic. One night, my father wakes up and taps my mom. He tells her he's seen her father in his dream and he is calling out for her. Sometime after that, my parents began sleeping in separate rooms due to snoring issues. My mother hears a voice late at night calling her name. It's her father's voice, she also someone stroking her head. My friend. My friend was sleeping in this girl's dormitory in Malaysia. On this particular night, it was the weekend so most of the girl were not home. Just my friend and another girl who lived in a room across the hall from her were there. My friend is in bed, and she notices a big black figure standing in the doorway just staring at her. It has a very menacing vibe to it, but does not move. My friend is terrified and doesn't dare to move, so she lays in bed and closes her eyes until she eventually falls asleep. The next morning, my friend wakes up and thinks it must have been some crazy dream she had. The girl from across the hall comes over and says, Friend, I don't want to scare you, but there was a dark figure in your doorway last night. I was 5ish and trying to go to sleep on Easter. At the time I slept on the floor of my parents bedroom. I closed my eyes for a second as soon as I opened them two baskets full of legacy and stuff just appeared. I didn't hear or feel anything in the room move. My parents were asleep and my siblings were in the living room. I instantly got up and told everyone about it. This still makes me wonder. Several months ago I stayed up late and watched random stuff on my YouTube recommended. At the time I kept a mirror on my wall. I looked over to it and saw this black figure in the reflection looking down onto me. It left a second later. I stood in shock 4 hours just saying what the fleeb. Recently I was up late and got bored of playing Borderlands all day. So I pulled out my phone and looked at Twitter and YouTube. Eventually I just decided to take retarded pictures on myself. The first picture I took featured a hand next to my neck that wasn't mine. Like last time I just stood there in shock saying WTF 4 hours. I still have the picture. When I was 3 or 4, I remember waking up at night to see a dark figure standing at end of my bed just watching me. At first I thought it might have been one of my parents, so I sit up and look at the figure, I think it was waving goodbye then slowly vanishing. I got out of bed and looked to see if someone is out in hallway, the light was on because my brother is scared of the dark at that time, I checked everyone's room, only to find they all were asleep. I wasn't really 100% sure what that was but I'd like to think it was just friendly spirit in the house, checking on me. I never saw anything like that again ever since. I don't live in that house anymore. I work at a tennis club. The building is more than 100 years old. I've been told stories from employees that worked overnight that sometimes they get chills randomly. One person said that while they were cleaning, he noticed an older lady sitting in a chair in the dead of night not saying a word. He turned to clean a table and when he turned around she was gone. Now to my story. I go to work at 4am. One day as I was unlocking the front door, the back door, maybe 10 feet behind it, was opening and closing it 6-7 times as if someone something was forcibly slamming it. It was a big door to so AC can't even budge it and there was literally no wind that morning either. One time it was maybe 12am and woke up to pee. I peed no problem. But as soon as I entered the kitchen I had a really bad feeling in my gut like the, get the plumbus out of their feeling. So I sped walk to the stairs that lead to my room. Then I hear a voice from behind me inches away from my ear whisper, run. I ran the fleab upstairs as fast as I could not even looking back. Once I got in my room I felt like I ran a darn marathon. Pretty much one of the scariest things in my life. So I have a couple wonky ones. The first was when I was younger I used to have seizures, the type where I just froze and locked up for anywhere from 15 seconds to a minute. 
I was gonna have to be on meds to prevent the seizures from happening when I was swimming or whatever. Well all my family got together and prayed one night and I never had a seizure again. The second is creepy. When I was 5 my mom had one of those Native American all seeing eyes as a gift from a friend. Anyways one night I'm asleep in my mom's bed and I hear my mom calling me in the other room. She yells it loud enough to wake me up, so I go into the room to see what she wants. She's not there so I kinda just figured I was dreaming. I go back to bed but I see her in the bedroom. She's been asleep the whole time. I tell her about it the next morning and she got really pale. She told me that's why she was already asleep, it was pretty early in the night, because she was in the other room and had heard me calling out to her. She had come to check on me, saw I was asleep, and waited to see if I was sleep talking. While she was waiting she audibly heard me call out her name again, from the other room but she was looking right at me. She got really freaked out and waited to see if she would hear it again. After about an hour or so she didn't hear anything and she drifted off into sleep. Apparently I heard the voice right after she fell asleep. Anyways this was not the first time she'd heard a random voice. So she tossed out the eye, and never heard a voice again. When I was younger and funny junk was still super popular, IDK early 2000s, they would occasionally have scary story chain mails. One such story required you to share the story with 13 people and the ghost of the girl from said story would come see you. So, me and my friend, she was older by about 3 years and kind of used me to hang at my dad's place as he had a ton of electronics and movies, printed out 13 copies of this damn story because we couldn't share it via cell phones and didn't have 13 people's email address. We spent a good hour or two handing these out to strangers on the street like pamphlets because that's what kids did back then I guess. So, fast forward two weeks and I'm sleeping in my mom's room because I was terrified of the dark. It's like 3am, which isn't a good time anyway supernaturally speaking, and for some reason I just wake up. Didn't need to pee or anything, my body was just like you need to wake up now so I'm like well I'm awake. I don't think I have to pee, but I'll go just in case. Mind you, it's not completely dark and the moon is relatively bright, so I can see pretty decently. I sit up and I swear on my life I saw a girl standing in the doorway to my mom's room. She was in all white or grey, had pale greyish skin, and looked menacing. I froze, but could move just enough to slowly lay back down. I didn't go pee. I lived with my family in an apartment with two entrances, because was only 14, and these apartments were relatively new being constructed in 2006. I had experienced nothing supernatural until this, like the most scared I got was when I would play Slender Man in the woods with my friends at night. It was always hot because my mom likes it snug but I hate the heat, I mean you can only strip so much. The fact that it was so hot lead to me to spend my Christmas money on an electric fan that placed on my dresser which is about 2 feet of the foot of my bed. The way I sleep on my back leads me to prone to sleep paralysis which I had experienced multiple times at this point I do it because of chronic pain. Now there was one thing that always pushed me out of the experience it was the fan no matter what stood at the foot of the bed or surrounded me I could feel and hear the fan the same as when I went to bed this specific day was different though. The pain was specifically bad at the time so I went to bed the most comfortable way on my back. When I woke up it was around 3am I knew because I could see my clock on the wall illuminated by moonlight. I was expecting normal sleep paralysis a monster, a demon, a cat sitting on my chest, maybe a person, and that's what I got except I didn't know which. Before I realized it I blinked and there were shadowy figures of various size surrounding my bed. It made me scared and uncomfortable even more than usual despite the fact that I had done this all before, but then it hit me like a train I couldn't feel a thing. The fan wasn't blowing down on my face and I couldn't hear its loud rotations. I knew I had turned it on and my door was locked. I felt my heart sink into my stomach and my chest began to hurt even more than it had that day though it might be a dream and not sleep paralysis it was so vivid I couldn't even make myself believe it was a dream. 
so I shut my eyes hoping not to die but when I opened them nothing. I felt my arms and legs again and I could move. It freaked me out, but the pain in my chest was so much I couldn't think, so I got up to get some painkillers. When I got into the hall I saw something in the corner of my eye it was extremely tall and lanky, so tall that it had to bend over in the hall it was slowly walking in the opposite position but I jerked when I saw it causing the floor to creak. It turned instantly and towards me stared for a second and tilted its head, then it scream I can still remember it to this day almost 8 years later. I was like multiple people of different voices, pitch, and age was screaming at the same time. Screaming a blood curdling I'm gonna die scream. I then started moving towards me at an alarming speed I practically jumped into the bathroom and shut the door. Next came the voices a small timid let me in followed by a light knock it continued getting louder and malicious as it went on until the almost whisper became authoritative shouts and the knock became a pound as if it were going to break down the door they weren't just from the door though they were all around the walls the ceiling even the cabinets. I turned from the door but that was worst in the shower curtain was the same figure silhouette shouting and pounding with elongated arms and an impossibly wide smiling mouth in the mirror condensation shrouding the multiple silhouettes pounding and shouting all with different voices with the voices and pounding surrounding me. I curled up in the fetal position and cried. Then I woke up with dried tears on my face curled up on the bathroom floor. My fan sitting on the counter blowing down at me.